What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've made my way down to Randy Marion Cadillac. We're gonna take a look at the all new 2020 Cadillac CT5. Huge shout out to them for providing this for me today. I love all of their contact info in the description below. This one is finished off in Black Raven. It has an MSRP just over $46,000. Also, don't forget for January, we are doing a GoPro giveaway. More details will be later in this video. Under the hood on the all new CT5, this has a two liter twin scroll turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's only paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. This engine will produce 237 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 258 pound feet of torque as low as 1500 RPM. It is rear wheel drive with the option to get all wheel drive weighs around 3,600 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in around seven seconds. And with a fuel capacity of 17 gallons, you can expect to see around 21 miles per gallon in the city and 31 out on the highway. The wheelbase measures 116 inches. It has an overall length of 193.8 inches. The width is 74.1 and it has a height of 57.2 inches. Starting up front, we're gonna take a look at a signature lighting design from Cadillac, and that is the vertical DRO. You can see it running on the outermost side of the headlight housing, along with down in the middle section of the bumper. The lower piece is actually the turn signal as well, so obviously when you turn that on, you will see that illuminate and then disappear back to the DRL. This does have LED headlights with a nice design running through the middle of them. As we make our way to the grill, you'll see it's finished off in black with nice cutouts in it to provide cooling to the engine, along with a trim piece that runs down the lower section of it and the Cadillac badge right in the center. There's more cutouts in the lower section of the grill as well, and then really nice contoured lines that run through the lower section of the bumper. As we make our way up to the hood, you'll see there's five distinctive lines that run down it. We have two on the outside that kind of meet the top section of the grill, and then one that runs all the way down the middle to the top of the Cadillac logo. Gives it a very nice design. Moving to the side, we'll start off with these 19 inch wheels. They have a 15 spoke design to them, finished off in pearl nickel with a satin insert, giving them a very nice two-tone finish. As we make our way to the side mirrors, they are body colored, feature the integrated turn signal, their power folding, and they have the blind spot indicator in them as well. You can see there's a two-tone design to the door handle. It's partly glass black, along with a nice trim piece on the top section. And you can see that continues on to the window trim as well. And there's very clean lines that run through the side of this vehicle. You can see the taillight actually starts one line and it goes just above the door handles all the way to the front headlight. And then there's great contoured lines running down on the lower side sill as well. And finishing up in the rear, we'll start off with the integrated spoiler. It gives it a very nice contoured look in the upper section of the trunk. This has a backup camera with all the parking sensors in the middle section of the bumper. Of course, it has LED taillights as well. A very nice trim piece running underneath the Cadillac logo right in the center. This has a dual trapezoidal shaped exhaust. And then moving on to more of the lines and contours on the rear end. I really like the design of these taillights. As you saw the line in them continue down the side of the vehicle. You can see there's a nice point right in the center of the vehicle matching the one that's up front. So it wraps up the rear end of this vehicle, integrating it nicely to the rest of the car. That's going to finish it up for the exterior walk around on the all new 2020 Cadillac CT5. This is going to replace the CTS and the ATS and be the new model from Cadillac. I really like it. Comment down below. What do you think of this vehicle? I really like how it looks with all of the accents, with the wheels and the chrome around the window trim. It just makes it look really nice. And one feature that's really cool before we go ahead and hop into the inside, if I double tap and then double tap on this button here, we can remotely start the vehicle, which is pretty cool to see. And with the vehicle still locked and the key in my pocket, I can just walk up to the door handle. I'll place my hand inside the door handle and grab this little electronic lever and it will automatically unlock. Looking at the door panel, you'll see a nice beige leather running on the armrest along with stitching. It's also on the back side of the door here. Just above that, there's a wood trim piece along with a chrome trim piece that surround the aluminum release handle. You have your lock and unlock with two memory seating adjustments just in the middle. All of the side windows are automatic up and down with all of your controls for the side mirrors. This has a Bose audio sound system. You have a trunk release button along with a little bit of storage space and another speaker down in the lower section of the door. So inside the new CT5, let's start off with these seats. They have the same beige leather as you saw on the door panel with even more color match stitching running down the bolsters. These are heated and ventilated. They feature an 18-way power adjustability with four-way power lumbar support. The bolsters aren't overly aggressive, but they have a really comfortable feel to them. But moving on to the steering wheel now, it's completely wrapped in leather, has a really nice position to it at 10 and two with these notches. And then this does have steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Moving on to all the controls on the steering wheel, starting off on the left side, you'll see your voice commands along with Bluetooth, along with cruise control, the adaptive cruise settings, and the heated steering wheel. 
Over on the right side, we have volume and tuning for the radio. And this rotary dial here will control everything on the center screen. So you have a lot of vital information that you can go through, looking at your fuel economy, your distance for the adaptive cruise, you can scroll over and see your radio, the navigation when that is up and running. You also have your phone when that is paired, and then other settings that you can go into. You can configure your display, your speed warning, some other information that you can go through. Off to the left, you have your tack. Your speedometer is on the right side. It's a very nice layout for the gauge cluster. As we make our way over to the left side of the steering wheel, you'll see a little cubby storage spot here, along with a dimmer switch for the gauges. We have the electronic parking brake and one air vent. There's more leather and stitching on the dash. And then moving to the center, we have a 10 inch screen. It's very easy to go through. As you can see, it's on a home setting right now. There's two other pages as well. So you can look at your climate, your phone and the map. You can see things like your audio, your phone. We can pull up the navigation so you can view that in full screen. Very easy and crystal clear to read. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can go into your OnStar. You have climate control features as well that you can go into. This has dual zone climate so you can easily adjust driver and passenger. You have where you'd like the air to go in the middle along with your recirc and everything like that. There's also shortcuts down on the bottom to the navigation, climate, your phone. And you can also mute and unmute the radio which is nice to see. Moving down below that we have some more buttons to control that screen. You have your power and volume for the radio along with a scrolling dial so you can go between whatever you'd like to adjust. And then there's a home button right in the center. Just underneath that, there are two more air vents, and then you have a row of buttons here, which has a really nice layout to it. These are more physical buttons for the climate control, so you can turn it on and off. You have where you'd like the air to go, you can sync everything, recirc, and it'll show you your fan speed and temperature down here, as well as up on the screen above. So it's very nice to see that. Down below, as I mentioned earlier, this has heated and ventilated seats, so you have all of those controls for the driver and passenger. You can turn on and off the park assist, and you have the hazards right in the center. Just below that is a wireless charging port for a phone, along with a little bit of storage. And then right behind that, we have a few more buttons, the engine start stop, the automatic brake hold with traction control, and the different driving modes that you can go through. So looking in the center here, we have my mode, tour, sport, snow, and ice. And then right behind that, we have the shifter. So I'll go ahead and put it all the way up into reverse. You'll see the backup camera light up. If I just push on this button here, that will either show or hide the guidelines. And they do move with the steering wheel if you have those shown. Very large screen, gives you great graphics as to what's behind you. And then to put it into park, we just push on the P on the top. Just behind the shifter, we have even more controls for that center screen. So there's a rotary dial, you have the power and volume for the radio, along with being able to change the track, your navigation music, a back button, and phone button. So if I just click on navigation, you'll easily see that pop up. I can click on the back button, and we can use that dial to go through all of that information. This is in a great spot. You can have your arm resting on the center console and easily go through everything here, so that's nice to see. Off and to the right, there are two cup holders. You have some more wood trim running throughout the middle here as well. Gives it a really cool look. And then moving on to the armrest here. It's wrapped in more leather and stitching. If I push on this button here, that will automatically open it up towards the passenger. You have a little bit of a storage cubby in the center, which is actually exposed when this is closed. So you can easily put things in there in a pinch if you need to. But opening this up again, you can see there's a USB and 12 volt in the front side and a good amount of storage space for anything that needs to go there. As we make our way over to the glove box, you definitely have a lot of room for anything that needs to go in there. And you can see more of that wood trim running above that. We'll go ahead and take one last look at these seats. They have a really nice design to them. I love the color of them against the exterior black. And then up top, this does have a sunroof in the front and one for the rear passengers as well. You have all of those controls along with OnStar as well. Hopping into the back seats now of the all new CT5. I really like it in the back. The attention to detail is just like up front with these leather seats. And they kind of have an indention to them. So they make them really comfortable to kind of sink into just a little bit. I have the front seat set at my height, five foot 10 and I have a good amount of leg room. I've got five or six inches in front of my knees, and then I have two or three inches above my head. The roof line actually dips up or goes up, which gives you a little bit more headroom, which is nice to see. And then I really like having the sunshade that you can open for the back seat. Just gives you a lot more lighting in the back as well. If we make our way to the center armrest here, you have normal two cup holders, which is nice to see. And then obviously the armrest, you could easily have three people in the back 
and especially have one person right in the middle seat here. It is doable in the middle seat. My head is just up against the headliner. Right in the center, we have a 12 volt along with a USC port. And then you also do get a little bit of storage behind both front seats. The back seats also have a 60-40 split to them. So if I just grab this lever right next to the headrest, I can easily fold that down, giving you a lot of space into the back as I'll show you here soon. But that just gives you a little more versatility in the back. And finishing up with the trunk storage space, I'm just gonna double tap the button on the key fob and it will automatically open up. There's about 12 cubic feet of storage space in the back with the back seats up and then obviously with them folded down gives you plenty more room for anything that needs to go through. On the right side you have a little storage compartment there and then actually underneath the floor if we lift that up you have a lot more room for anything that you want to hide underneath the floorboard there. Other than that you have a nice cutout on the left side and then again on the right so it gives you a lot more room for anything that you want to put sideways and then we can just grab the one handle here and close it up. So getting the all new 2020 CT5 out on the road now, this is going to be replacing the ATS and the CTS as I mentioned earlier. So this is a brand new model from Cadillac, which is pretty awesome to be able to check out. So huge shout out to Randy, Mary, and Cadillac for letting me take this out for the day. This has been a really awesome sedan to check out so far. But we're gonna go ahead and give it just a little bit of gas. I have it in drive mode right now, so normal automatic. We'll just get up to the speed limit. Not even half throttle, and we are up to the speed limit just like that. I think it has plenty of power. You can opt for a twin turbo three liter V6, so I'm excited to drive that at some point. But let's go ahead and pop it into manual mode now. So we can use the paddle shifters here, drop it down a little bit. And this has plenty of power. I don't think it's underpowered by any means. The shifts are very smooth. The paddle shifters are actually very responsive as well, both in the upshifts and the downshifts. So I have it in tour mode right now and it's absorbing all the bumps very well. It's a very smooth ride. To be honest, this is the first Cadillac that I've ever driven or been in and I really like it so far. The ride is very quiet and there's very limited road noise and tire noise. This has acoustic laminated glass along with solar energy absorbing glass. So not only will this provide you with a very comfortable and quiet ride as it is right now, but it's also going to help eliminate some of the sun rays or the heat to get inside the vehicle. So you have a quiet ride along with a less hot ride on the inside, being able to have that technology along with your ventilated seats and obviously using the AC as well. Moving on to the visibility in the CT5, it's really not all that hard to see around. The C pillars in the back are not that bulky, so a quick glance over my left shoulder and my right shoulder, there's virtually no blind spots. The glass in the back there is quite large, so I can easily see that from my frameless rear view mirror here, which is I just noticed is cool to see. Uh, but visibility is really good. I love having the dual pane sunroof here, especially for the back seat passengers. You can have a little bit light in, just makes it more open on the inside. Uh, but you have plenty of glass in any direction, gives you a really good view. And then even using this 10 inch screen for the backup camera, I was doing that in the parking lot and the graphics are really nice. It's a large screen. It's actually angled slightly away from the driver, but it's actually in a good spot at the same time. So I kind of like how it's sunk back a little bit. So you can easily go through the screen and find what you're looking for or just use this rotary dial down below. I think both are really nice to go through and I like that they give you that option so you don't have just one way to go through the infotainment screen. So that's pretty awesome to see. Moving on to all of the materials on the inside now. When you think Cadillac, you think of a very premium feeling car. It's gonna have all the luxuries that you're looking for and from my first impressions and my experience so far, that's exactly what you get. You have leather on the armrest, there's nice wood trim, brushed aluminum, leather on the steering wheel and the seats. There's even a nice body colored material underneath the steering wheel just to tie everything in. And then you just have a really comfortable ride. I have no complaints with this. If you're looking for a four-door sedan that has a lot of standard safety features like the adaptive cruise, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and everything like that. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive in the 2020 Cadillac CT5. Once again, huge shout out to Randy, Mary, and Cadillac for providing this vehicle for me today. Also, don't forget, we are doing a GoPro giveaway for January. All you have to do to be eligible to win is be a subscriber to the channel and comment on videos, and that's it. At the end of January, we're gonna pick the video with the most comments and pick a random winner from that video. So subscribe to the channel, comment on videos, and you can win a GoPro. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.